Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a pre-grocery prep. I do want to just get my weekly grocery uh, meal planner set up prior to me going to the grocery store. Um, I do have to get groceries this week. And so it is the fifth week of January and I really just kind of want to recap last week's groceries and then meal plan and then prep for this week. I'm also going to go in and change my days like I had planned to do last week or I mentioned doing last week. Now I will say this, this is my Life and Apples planner which I use quite often. I am not a fan of the undated you know, the undated planners. So I do like these days written in here, but my days run Wednesday week through Tuesday. So I prefer to have my t Monday and Tuesday at the bottom instead of at the top, because then I'm having, I feel like I'm backtracking for my week because my sales run on Wednesday. So I'm just gonna change this to start Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So it just flows better for me. And I thought I'd bring you guys along, just kind of see, you know, how I'm doing things, how I'm meal planning, really maybe take you into my pantry or my freezers and see what I have left. So let me grab some um, pencils and pens and things and we'll jump right in. All right, you guys, so I got a couple supplies, just a regular pen and some whiteout. So I'm going to just go ahead and white out these days. And again, there's nothing wrong with the days. I actually love having the days in there. It's just the way my planning works. Um, I just need to change these days for myself. And what I've been doing so far has been working, but I still feel like I'm backtracking. That's not my favorite thing to do. So I am going to just fix it to make it work out a little better for me. And it's all going to be well. Alrighty. So I've gotten those days all covered using my whiteout. So this is actually going to be for the week of January 29th, which is Alana's birthday. So it'll be 29, 30, 31, 1, 2, 3, 4, through February the 4th. My birthday is on the 5th. Uh-oh, my birthday. This goes through the 4th, not the 5th. Look at me. Good thing we got some white out. February the 4th. But my birthday is on the 5th. <laughs> um, my goal this week is to um, stick to my budget. Uh, my budget this week is $50, and that's all I have to spend. And also, I want to cook what's on my meal plan. So, two goals for this week. So, to stick to the budget that I have set, and then also to cook what's on the meal plan. So, I'm going to go back in and make some adjustments here. So, I'm going to say this starts on Wednesday. Then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <clears throat> Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So this just works out better for me. And then that way I'm going straight down all the days and I'm not having to say, okay, I'm starting on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then go back up to Monday. That just, you know, again, wasn't my fave. And then I'm also going to put the days in. And like that. So, a couple things I also like to do is to make myself some notes. So, Wednesday, um, and I'm going to just do this on this bottom line here because I don't need to take up those all those lines for the meal plan I'm planning to put in. So I know that Wednesday I have the gym, the kids have Taekwondo, 
and they also have youth group. This is also my grocery shopping day, so I am going to make myself a star. That's my grocery shopping day. Thursday, I have the gym. The kids have Taekwondo, and mom has Taekwondo. Friday is just Taekwondo for the kids. Saturday, we have Taekwondo because we have a tournament that's out of town. Sunday is church. Monday is homeschool day. No activities. I do have ladies meeting, so I will put that down. Ladies meeting. But that's at 8. And then Tuesday, we have quite a few things on Tuesday. I have the gym. The kids have Taekwondo. And then we have church for all of us. And I sing and prayer all on the same night. So Tuesdays are my late night. So I'm just going to mark that and say Tuesdays is late. Wednesdays are late. Um, Thursdays are a late night for us. Usually, and Friday is probably a late night as well. So we have evenings. We're not getting home till the evenings. So looking back at last week's, um, I will tell you what we did do. We did do chicken legs. We did the um, family day. We did rotisserie chicken. Um, we did a roast. We did the steak. We just didn't make pepper steak. We actually threw that in with the roast. And then we did chicken soup. So I did all of those things. I did not do the turkey sausage broccoli just because um, the kids ate at church, so I didn't have to do anything here. And then Friday night, the kids had Taekwondo. Um, this was uh, belt test. Uh, this was testing for Jackson, and we got done really late, and so we all just went over to eat out with a meal. So this was actually an eat out because we went over with the team. It was just Jackson and, and Coach D were trying out for their um, second degree black belt. And so after this, because it was really late, we just all went over there to um, just find a place to eat. And it was okay. I had my niece and my nephew with me. No problem. So um, I'm going to go back over here to this week to see kind of where we are. You make sure that's right. Yeah, 24th, that was belt testing. I just want to make sure. I had my niece and my nephew last weekend, not this weekend. But we still went out to eat. Why am I confused? Oh, because that, see how I get confused? That, on the 24th, we actually did go out. That was the weekend I had my niece and nephew. And then I, See, I'm jumping back up. Today is actually Monday the 27th. So I'm like, why is that doesn't make sense? It's because my days are backwards. So today is actually the 27th. So all right. So for dinner tonight, which I'm back on the 27th. See, I'm still all confused. But I got this. Okay, so for dinner tonight on the 27th, maybe I'm just gonna write this up here. I'm just gonna write it on here. The 27th, can you see that? Yeah. Okay, for the 27th, I'm going, we are gonna have the shrimp fried rice. And again, we're using uh, collie rice. And I have uh, shrimp. I've already had that into the freezer. Tomorrow is the 28th. We're going to have chicken soup because we did a chicken soup 
Sunday night, and so we just have that in the fridge. And because Tuesday night is our latest night to be out of the week, out during the week, I try to do a soup of some kind. Now, below that, I'll put my grocery list. And so what I do is if I'm unable to get something on the previous week, I roll it over. So I ended up getting the heavy cream. I ended up getting chocolate chips. I got some nuts. We got the ranch. We got strawberries. Okay. So for this next week coming, what's on my list from last week, I'm going to need blueberries. Blueberries, the syrup I did not get, mm, hamburgers, and salmon, and shredded cheese. Now, these are all rollovers from the week before because we circled everything we had not gotten, but then I went through and then uh, crossed out all the things that I did pick up. Now, as far as meals are concerned, we do have, for breakfast, we have eggs. So I'm just putting eggs um, we have sausage, so we'll probably have sausage and sausage for three meals. Probably just plain eggs, and we might do eggs in with a wrap. The kids like that. And it's easy to just do, and then we can take it to church as we leave. And then hmm, we'll just say eggs, and I might have some more sausage. But I think I'm going to be out of sausage after these first three meals because I don't have a ton. Um, for lunch on the 27th, well, the 28th, we have chicken salad. And that would be for a lunch meal. We also can do chicken salad on the 29th, which would work out fine. Um, and then we could do chicken salad. For two nights, for two lunches, I'm sorry, for two lunches. The kids usually like bologna. So I'm gonna say bologna. Saturday, we're going to be at a tournament, and we're probably going to be at a tournament through lunch, so I'm going to pack some snacks because I'm not real sure, and we may even eat out a lunch there, but it will be late because both of my kids are black belts, so they go after all the lower and advanced belts. I'm just going to say may eat out. I don't know. We'll see. Possible. But we always pack a snack bag because they usually have snacks there that you can purchase, but I'm keto, so I usually just try to pack my own. Then, um, Sunday will be, Sunday's lunch will be Saturday's leftovers. And Saturday's dinner is usually friend's dinner, but our friend is out of town this week. This is usually friend's dinner, but she's out of town this week, so we'll just cook whatever. 
I'll find something. I still have a roast left. Um, Monday, I'll let them go back to bologna. And then they can finish out uh, Tuesday with bologna as well. So that's how we'll wrap that up. And then moving over for dinners. So I've got shrimp fried rice for Monday, chicken soup for Tuesday. Mmm. I'm going to put a roast in the oven. Ooh. In the instant pot. Mmm. I can do a roast or chicken thighs. So I'm going to say the same for Saturday. It just depends on how tired I am from the driving because we have to drive to the um, tournament. So a roaster chicken thighs on Tuesday, we're gonna have um, tomato soup. And we'll do that in the crock pot because it works out real good um, that we can put that on before we leave the house to go to our evening activities. And by the time we come home from evening activities, that's done. Um, I may have some cornbread. That's a maybe. All right, so Wednesday, hmm. Goodness, what can I do Wednesday? And Monday. I'm home on Monday, so I usually cook something. I will cook a meal. Like a fresh meal, not a prepped meal. So I'll cook something. Or we might have leftovers, or the kids might have leftovers for lunch. So I'll say bologna or leftovers, because they might have something left over. Um, I will really have to see what other kind of meats that I have in my freezer. I know I have roasts. I know I have the chicken thighs. We did use up the chicken drumsticks. We had two bags. I think we used both bags of drumsticks, so I don't think we need any more of those. Um, mm. Wednesday, the kids usually eat at church. Oh. So here's a monkey wrench, right? I'm out of town. Mom's out of town these two nights. Friday night, oh, um, the kids need a ride to Taekwondo because I have a class. So a friend of mine is supposed to pick them up and bring them over to Taekwondo. So mom is out of town these two nights. I... Maybe they will do a broccoli Alfredo. And then, hmm. Oh, I gotta figure something out. Trandon will be here. Trandon is coming. He might, hmm. Good granny. I don't know. So I have to figure this out. Mom, I'm back um, on Friday. It'll just be a little bit late but I will be back on Friday. So I'll figure out a Friday meal and I'll figure out a Monday meal, but I do need to go back and look to make sure of what I have. And then I will fill things in. So this is just kind of, I thought, let me just take you guys through my planner to figure out how I'm, you know, trying to plan for things and keep my mind on track. That way I'm able to stay within my budget, stay within my means and not feel like I'm having to um, spend more money than what I actually have. So I'm just trying to give myself, give it a good effort here, which I think, you know, last week I did pretty good. We did not have any bologna and cheese wraps. We had a lot of leftovers. Um, we had rotisserie chicken, we had pesto chicken. 
We had chicken and cheese wraps. I didn't do chicken salad. Um, we actually had, um, yesterday after church, which was Sunday, we had pork rind nachos because I used that, that roast that I had and just made nachos. So I'm just going to go back and see, you know, um, what we haven't had in a while and maybe try to pull some of those meals. That might be good. I've been thinking about unstuffed peppers again. But we'll see how things work out and what we're able to, you know, make. Anyway, I just thought you guys might like to walk through that with me to kind of see how I plan it out and how I'm trying to um, stay on budget, cook what I have, cook what's on the meal plan. But again, sometimes our nights out of the house are a little bit um, sketchy. So it's it's hard to nail down something like I can put dinners, but I may have to swap my days and that's okay. Doesn't bother me. I can do that perfectly fine, but I just want to walk you through my process. So anyway, there it is. That's how I'm planning for this week. Um, I definitely will fill out more for my grocery shopping list because there's a few more things I'm sure we'll need. And then I'll fill in some meals on grocery shopping day. So we'll see how everything happens when I um, do my grocery shopping. So I'll bring you guys back and fill you in on those days. But for right now, that's going to be the end of this video. It's just a casual walkthrough of the meal plan. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.